So people versus machines and people and machines. I think there's a perception out there that technology or machines are there to perhaps take their jobs. We have um, conveyed a survey together with Greenwich Associates um, to financial uh, participants. And 80% of them uh, have come back to us telling us that machines and technology has helped them in, in their jobs rather than hamper it. So it is a very overwhelming result and I have to say I completely agree with this. So take an example here, if we look at 15 to 20 years ago when electronic trading rose for equities and futures, a lot of people thought that it was the end of the high-touch sales trader. As a matter of fact, they're both here and very much here to stay. Um, the execution desk now is more of a consulting execution desk on the sell side to the buy side trader, helping them get to best execution um, in a better price way whereas the high-touch sales, sales trading desk is still there to find liquidity through blocks and offer access to capital, also talk about stocks at a more granular level or sectors at, at a more granular level. So I think you know, there is a place for both. On the buy side, we've seen technology really help the buy side trader um, take, take in more, right? Trading more asset classes, taking more regions. And that doesn't mean that there is less buy side traders. It really means that they're focusing on the, on the trades that matter. Um, you know, automating 80% of their workflow with the trades that are daily trades that they know how to trade that you can very much automate to then spend all of their time on the trades that actually make a big difference. So the relationships on the trading desk I've seen evolve into much more of a collaborative way of working together. When you think about how much data and, and how much math and technology goes into the order placement and the execution strategies of both the buy side and the sell side, I think it's very important to set the level of all parties and, and everybody to understand what the outcome is. Um, so what data sets are being used, um, what, what outcome are we getting to, what slippage is acceptable and how are we getting there. Once we all agree on this, then we can consult and, and agree on better ways to do things going forward. So we have Refinitiv Labs um, that very much talks to the trader of you know, 2020 and beyond. If we look at, you know, again, the work we did on the future of trading, a lot of traders are now moving to development, understanding Python, understanding machine learning. So Refinitiv has a whole set of, of its labs that is dedicated to that through the data science accelerator. What this means is we're looking at the data, we're making sure that it's curated so that our clients don't have to spend sometimes north of half their time curating the data. Um, that is, it is readily available and it is machine ready. That last part is very important. If you want to ingest and make sense of a lot of data, you need to be able to ingest it with machine readily available tools. Uh, on the other hand, we're also creating the user interfaces that do interface with that data so that our clients don't have to do that themselves. <laughs>